Hey guys, I wanted to take a look at a trending t-shirt design that's made a few thousand sales in the last 48 hours. It absolutely dwarfs any of the previous peaks by about three times the search volume. And no, it's not related to football. So let's get to it. So I'm here in Podly to do some Amazon merch research. I'm looking at the best sellers. I didn't type anything into the search bar. I just wanna see what is selling well. Now, of course, there's a lot of Super Bowl stuff, some Valentine's Day stuff, and then there's this shirt, all right? And if I move myself, you can actually see there's a one that was hiding out behind me here. Uh, it says, Joan, Waste, Your, Toy, Monmi, Yoral, Ready, with three eyes. And I figured out this text-based design, okay? And there's at least four of them here behind me, right? One, two, three, four, is related to an old Blink-182 song. Okay. It's like the lyrics, but they transform the lyrics into different words. So does that make it okay? Well, you be the judge. I'm not in charge of your account health. Okay. That being said, regardless of how you feel about, should we sell it? Should we not sell it? Which I honestly think it's probably okay since the lyrics are transformed into different words. But anyways, people are buying it. <laughs> That's probably why you're watching this video, right? I mentioned that this shirt has probably made a few thousand sales in the last 48 hours when it spiked in popularity for whatever reason, right? I, I looked up the, the, uh, the video on YouTube and it had like hundreds of millions of views. That speaks for itself, basically. <laughs> Popular song. Um, and only so many people are gonna figure out when they see the, the shirt itself that it's related to the song, right? But that has nothing to do with why people buy it. The people who are buying it to wear it, well, they don't care, you know what I mean? They're ready to spend money. And that's why we, the sellers, should take notice. Now, what I wanted to point out, I guess to start is the BSRs. Check out the BSRs, the top seller 1200 BSR, next one, 1500 BSR, next one behind me here, if I move my head, uh, 2100 BSR, scroll down, 2600 BSR. So this is definitely in high demand on Amazon. Now, if we go to, oh, and I always like to check when it was first uploaded, so we can click the details page button to see when this shirt was uploaded in Podly. And it looks like this was uploaded April 15th, 2021. So it's not a new shirt by any stretch. If we hit view on Amazon, uh, this one right here already has 31 reviews. So it's not gonna be super simple to compete with. Um, that being said, it doesn't mean you can't submit a new design and Amazon cycle it into search results. You know, the Amazon algorithm guys, it does value when it has an incumbent listing like this one with you know 30 reviews that was uploaded three years ago with some sales history, but it also likes to keep the catalog fresh for its customers and it will give new submissions a chance if you upload a shirt right now though that says valentine's day shirt and that's the title you may not get your chance because it's just a volume thing there's too many products that are trying to get indexed on valentine's day shirt right and if you have no sales history that's an uphill fight but if you're in a very uh niched down very direct niche like this one i think you have a chance so if you go ahead and take some of the primary keywords associated with this niche type it into Podly, you'll notice there are quite a few of these designs on Amazon. I don't consider that a deterrent from selling on Amazon. I actually like when I see some competition because that at least makes me feel safe about uploading it. You know what I mean? That's part of my validation process before I create a new design. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm going to be safe to sell it. But also take a step back, just look at the design styles. Some of them are just very basic white text, uniform font size, nothing special, on a black shirt. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the top three, take note, the top three, or you could even say four of the top five are that approach, right? And the customers, they vote with their dollars. You know, these are the best sellers because customers are actually buying them on a relative basis more than the other products you see. Yeah, you know, top to bottom, the, the top are the best sellers. And BSR indicates this, so we don't have to guess. I do wanna mention though, when you start from a blank slate, you know, when it comes to text-based designs, and I sold, tens of thousands, if not, you know, 100,000 plus text-based designs in my day, there's different ways to approach it. You know, like, do you use a solid font? Do you use a distressed font? Do you use a script font? Do you use a uh, italic font like this one? You know, do you alter the color schemes here like that one? These are all things I would take into account and you can make multiple versions of your design. I like to make one, you know, simple version, maybe like this one for a black shirt and then flip the color scheme and do one for a white shirt. All you have to do is do a color overlay in Photoshop or you know, just select the, the you know, whatever design app you're using and just change the font color, right? Pretty simple. Uh, they literally have one over my head here. Same exact design, same words, but they put it in a quote 
and they attributed it to a wise man. You know, who's to say you can't do that? You know, BSR 37,000. So I'm just saying, get creative with how you approach. If you want to sell this niche with how you sell this niche, if you want to sell another text-based similar niche, right? Maybe the niche itself isn't actually similar, but like the approach to design is similar. Take some notes on how these best sellers for a text-based design are approaching design because, you know, customers like to have options. So I like to just scroll and take mental notes about how people are going about doing this. You know, should we make the font really big, like kind of behind me here? <laughs> should you make it smaller? Somebody here used like a box approach, a box design approach. The one behind me here on a white shirt, thin font, right? Not too heavy. Um, this one right here used like a stroke. They use black text with a white stroke above a multicolor background. Beyond this, guys, uh, you can also go directly to Amazon and just give it a scroll here. One thing that you note or notice when you do a quick scroll through Amazon is that, well, you've got somebody doing a, a video design ad right here, uh, a video ad for their product. You know, if you do a video ad, that is a nice way of trying to vault above your competition by locking in some early sales and some recent sales. Amazon loves recent sales and will weight them higher than sales from three years ago, which can help you jump that guy who uploaded in April, 2021. Okay, so the video ad, whoops, oh man, I shouldn't have done that, bad karma. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry to whoever was running the video ad. I tried to click to pause it because I had to click to start it. So um, the video ads, the minimum bid is 25 cents, just so you guys know. I wanted to also point out, you'll see some shirts indexed on the word Jones. And this is just a quick like teaching moment to show you that, you know, Joan versus Jones to make it plural. Uh, the Amazon algorithm, even though I didn't type in Jones, I typed in J-O-N-E, uh, it's treating it as if I could have searched for Jones. Sometimes it gets confused on the plural versus not plural. And in this case, this is the best chance I could ever probably illustrate that it can make all the difference in the world about one niche versus the other, other niche. Cause one is saying, Joan, waste your time. And the other ones are saying like, it's a Jones thing you wouldn't understand. And all these other Jones niches. Um, there's other websites like here's this website called T Navy. I've never even heard of this, but they're selling this design, right? How did I find it? Well, guys, you can go to Google, type in the keywords associated with the design, and then just give it a scroll. Just scroll through Google. First thing, amazon.com. So you want to prioritize selling there. Um, after that, you get like this little, you know, Google likes to experiment with different ways to show results to people. Since we included the word shirt, they think we're shopping. They have that little panel right here for showing us products to buy, but they're including products from Amazon, Etsy, viralstyle.com, even though that shirt says $807, which is a little bit insane. <laughs> what? T Public, Walmart, uh, amazon.com, Etsy, E L L E E M M Y.com. What in the world is that website? And they're charging 40 bucks. Another like fake Etsy. Uh, here's Etsy. Amazon, Redbubble, TeePublic, TheShirtKings.com, ViralStyle.com, Etsy again, Redbubble, uh, TeePublic and a sponsored link, ViralStyle, SkullRiding.com, AliExpress.com, LELEMoon.com, eBay finally pops up, uh, TUni.com, BuckT.com, AliExpress again, TNavy, uh, that was the original website I showed you, TNavi.com, so not N-A-V-Y, but N-A-V-I.com and LTs. We'll just, we'll just stop it there. E L E T's.com. So a lot of different places for customers to purchase shirts. I am not telling you as the resident talking head on a screen that you can sell on all of these shirts, but I bet you a lot of them, like the ones that we don't recognize, right? You know, like maybe LTs.com, perhaps maybe you can sell on this site. A uh, easy way to do it is click the link and then control F type in S E L L and see if, you know, something pops up that lets you sell. That kind of reminds me of like a, public vibe for some reason. But um, anyways, I just wanted to mention that perhaps there's selling opportunities on some of these smaller websites that show up on Google when you do your search. You know, I'm trying to t use this as like a teaching opportunity to give you the best chance to make the most money. Of course, the number one priority should be Amazon merch where you're selling a prime eligible print on demand product that to the customer is sold by Amazon with enhanced brand content and with the prime check mark, right? That's that's always going to be top to me. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to talk about Etsy. I'm just saying Amazon's number one. You know what I mean? Let's be real here. Uh, and then last but not least, guys, you can even go to Google Trends. Like look over my shoulder here at the spike in search interest. All right. And this is over the past five years. Look at this. It absolutely dwarfs 
any of the previous peaks by about three times the search volume, okay? So what we're seeing right now, and notice, I didn't even talk about why it's trending. Who cares? Look, we're trying to sell t-shirts. The fact that it's trending is what we care about, okay? So look at this spike. It's three times bigger than the next biggest spike in search interest over the last three years. That's something that we should take notice of. And if you scroll down here, I use this free uh, Chrome extension called Glimpse, and it gives you a little bit of like a um, autocomplete you know, extension to give you some additional words that you may want to associate with your query and shows you what other people are, you know, typing in with it as well. Like you can see, okay, it says TikTok. So I'm assuming it's something on do with TikTok. Of course, everything's TikTok these days. Uh, Blink 182, you can see there, that's the band that recorded the song. So guys, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it informative. Like you can very quickly, what do we do? Five to 10 minutes here do a full audit of this design, figure out why it's trending, figure out how to market it, figure out how to approach design and figure out where to sell it. This is it. This is the, this is the formula to be successful. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know what else to say. I want you guys to be successful. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments, drop a like on the video for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with a new video.